I'm going to call and check on camera. So sure that was Jake. What are the odds that another baby the same age would be dropped on a doorstep of a daycare center? I'm so sorry I got your hopes up. No, this isn't your fault. You're doing everything you can. We just have to keep hoping and praying. That's why you keep seeing Jason, isn't it? I mean, if he wasn't locked up, he'd be out there searching for Jake right now. Lucky. What, you think that he'd be able to find Jake when I can't? You might as well admit it. I can see it on your face. I can't do this right now. I have to stay focused on Jake. What is it? You, you don't think that I can rescue our son from a kidnapper, but Jason can? I don't give a damn who rescues my son. I just want my baby back. Jake back to you. It's not fair for you to insinuate that I don't. Fair? You want to talk about fair? How fair was it when you were conspiring to get me evaluated for postpartum depression? To practically accuse me of hurting my own son? You know, this conversation is not going to go anywhere good, so why don't you just go back to work or I'll go to Graham's because I am too sick and worried about Jake to muster up any more understanding for you. Excuse me? I said I do not have the energy to deal with your inferiority complex. Okay, I resent that. So what you resent is Jason and your dad and any other man who comes through your life and makes you not feel good enough. And whenever that happens, you expect your, your good little partner to just drop whatever she's doing and to pick up and fix your broken ego. This is pointless. This is pointless. Because my son is out there somewhere. I don't know where he is. I don't know who he's with. Could Jason find him? Maybe. I don't know. But I wish to God he were out there trying. Because Jason would only be concerned with finding Jake. He would not be wasting time blaming me for turning my back for two seconds. And he would not be using this as an opportunity to prove to himself and to the rest of the world that he's man enough for the job. And he certainly wouldn't be doing what you're doing right now. Turning my son's kidnapping into some stupid, macho competition. What, you're refusing to help me find my son? I'm not sitting on that. You asked. I love my son. Every move, every choice I've made since yesterday has only been about finding Jake. Then just do it. Quit wasting time questioning my loyalty or sulking because I dared to go see Jason. You know what, that's what I don't understand. Our son, our, our baby was abducted and you find it easier to go talk to a man behind bars than your very own husband. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because Jason gives me hope. Because he makes me believe that it's only a matter of time before Jake is found. He doesn't attack me. He doesn't suspect me. He doesn't make me feel like I did something wrong for tying my other little boy's shoe. Jason didn't lose his son! Then why has he shown me more empathy than you? Why does he listen to me when you won't? You know, I'm sorry. If Jason can't possibly understand how terrified I feel, then why is it that Jason is the one who makes me believe that Jake is still alive? And then I will hold my son again. You know what, I'm sorry to remind you again that your hero is behind bars. I'm what you've got to count on. But you can't do that, can you? You have no faith at all in me anymore. I'm going to see if there's any news on my son.